So hello everyone and welcome to another week of Soulfully Guided. Very pleased to be um, on on time today and know that the time zone change has the time zone change has happened. Um, last week our wonderful producer called in and I had no idea my show was starting an hour early despite their warnings. So thank you. <laughs> but um so I mentioned we'd have some some announcements coming up and uh, some of them I can't say because they're really excited and it involves um, an international announcement. So really excited about that. So please do watch this space and um, really happy where Soulfully Guided um, is headed. So if you don't know much about us and you're, this is the first time you're meeting me, um, I run a business called Soulfully Guided where we offer psychic, intuitive, empathic photo and tarot card readings and um, we also offer life coaching and mentoring that's uh, psychic and tarot inspired so if you're looking for more depth and really breaking cycles and looking for change and um, you know more um, I guess looking at multiple layers of of what you know, lifestyles and changes or anything that's really pressing you uh, that has developed into a pattern of behaviour. We work really strongly with psychological um, a basis and a, and a scientific basis of tarot reading. So we're really, uh, and you'll always hear me use the word dissect. So we dissect your questions. Um, we look at, you know, where things started and how your response to that developed and then how to face and tackle that and be your authentic self. And it's really special because I felt that I'd done that myself, but I'm entering that phase again. So you would have watched last, if you watched last week's show, um, where I mentioned my readings would also change and grow and develop as I develop. So I'm going through a, a phase of healing and um, self-exploration. So it at Soulfully Guided, we say um, we offer a deep, we offer an exploration and analysis into your deeper self. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So it's, um, I thought I'd healed and I'm doing great. But um, as we say, there's always room for improvement and room to be happier um, and not get too cozy in your comfortable space. So um, where I'm at right now, which will be reflected in my readings, is that and I'm going to be unpolitic, unpolitically, you know, I'm going to be truthful without any barriers or, or walls or guard up. And what I mean by that is in, as empaths, I often say to people, when we have to say no, or we have to look at the darker side of someone, or we, when we, when we have to stand up for ourselves and set boundaries, which are very reasonable and needed, it often hurts us more as the empath than it does hurt, you know, than it hurts the person that's hearing no. It might be mean nothing to them, but it's a huge deal for us as empaths. So along this journey of soulfully guided, where I began to develop and heal and start showing up for myself in the ways that I needed and I needed to feel love and be loved. So it's a really empowering stage right now because I'm removing the people pleasing from my life or worrying, you know, what only looking at the good side of things. This is real. This is real life. Whether someone's intention is to hurt you or they accidentally hurt you in any way or, um, you know, and their intentions are good, but it still hurts or it's an unhealthy behavior. That's the part of the readings or my life that I'm working on is that sometimes people are at bad spaces in their life. And just because they're their words or their their beliefs and their morals are good. It might not always mean their actions are. So I guess um, the way that it will improve existing readings, the way we read at Soulfully Guided, is that I won't be afraid to use my professional expertise and and my wisdom as well to to speak up more and to not be so. I don't want to use the word grounded, but to not be so. 
to be real. And if something is challenging me, if I'm feeling an energy in your reading about a person, I'm not, I would never tell you what to do. I will merely suggest what I see, what I'm feeling, what I'm, you know, all these things and emotions that are going on. And I will really be neutral to the situation, but with the highest level of respect um, to you as I'm providing the service for you. And what I'm doing for myself is not being afraid to call things out as they are. And the biggest thing about Soulfully Guided, you'll feel is maybe not a great marketing strategy, but we, we, uh, we do want you to come back, but we also don't want you to rely on us or we, we don't want you to depend on us for your questions and your answers and to live your life. So we build up this information where we, we present the situation as, as it is and what we see, we feel, what's going on for you and other people if, you know, within um, the bounds of ethics because we follow um, psycho the base, the, the fundamental ethical standards in psychology. So we don't interfere or um, overimpose in other people's life unless it affects you and the question is surrounded around your needs and their relationship directly with you and not, um, you know, going into their personal space without um, just, you know, finding out if their business is doing well or, you know, stuff like that. That is not our business if they're not in our life or even if they are in our life and we don't have the right to know that if they're not a spouse and things like that. But, and now I'm losing my train of thought, but <laughs> so it's really important that we learn to speak up and defend ourselves and we can do it in a really respectful way because as an empath, it's going to hurt you more standing by someone if intentions are not right or even if intentions are right but actions aren't right and that's the shift you'll see in me that you'll also see in your reading so I'm so excited about that and I've worked really hard to get here to where I am with Soulfully Guided but everything that I do for myself I'm able to invest and you know put into the business and your readings so We've had a really big shift and we're getting we're getting busier. I'm, you know, continuously in the mindset that this is actually no longer a hobby business, that this is a small business and I'd like to see it grow. So anyone who's wanting a reading, please do book with us. Uh, we we welcome people from all walks of life all around the world, either, you know, if you're close by, we welcome in person, otherwise in Zoom. But you'll notice some huge shifts around my confidence and my courage because sometimes it takes courage to present online or to be yourself in a public you know in a public or online space and I'm finding me not at the stage of a broken version of me but I'm finding me at the healed stage so being comfortable with who I am and you know I've really found, and I'm going to say this openly, I've really found that I love, I really do love myself and I'm proud of myself. And I'd like to extend that comfortability and openness and, you know, courage to be yourself as well. Um, and it's not that I won't see red flags or, or, you know, ignore them. It's that I will be me and be happy to be me and, un, you know, unguarded. Um but not oblivious to, to red flags and things like that, which is a really great space to be in. And the reason why I feel that this stage of my life where I love myself and I want to extend that in other people's readings is not, you know, because I think I'm, a, I, you know, I'm just as happy as the next happy person and, you know, more established than some people, less established than others. But I had a moment where I thought, you know what, I can live with me with you for the rest of my life and be happy with what I've achieved and I was in a space of not looking at who I was in the past but looking at who I'd become today and in the future and I'm at this stage of incredible growth and I really want to share that with people because our struggles don't have to dictate or direct our healing or our life or our happiness or our future and we can use that as a platform 
to find our version of happiness. And, and we don't want to take your responsibility away at Softly Guided to make your decisions. As I said, we merely present what we see and what we feel. And when we do a card analysis or, or a comparison and we're looking at options, we're not saying, oh, you need to do this because in an hour reading, I don't know your values. You don't know mine. What looks really good to me might look terrible to you. And that would be a really um, breach of, of, of responsibility and duty of care to you to tell you what I would do because the reading's not about me. It's about you. So that's why um, we don't see people who want us to dictate and direct their lives, but merely give them a little shove, you know, a gentle little shove uh, or a gentle step forward maybe and use what they already know and what the perspective I can offer as a platform so they go away and make those choices for themselves because you don't want to remove someone's right to make a choice to, to, regardless of how strong our intuitive our intuition is. And um, that's also why we record your readings and send it to you because we want the information to sit with you and stay with you much longer than the power of that reading for that hour or 30 minutes or 45 minutes you were here. So that's where we're headed with Soulfully Guided. And I'm really excited that I was able to share this with you. So um, yes, so exciting times ahead, growth personally through business and work related um because i have a few hobby dreams but stay tuned next week and we'll have another reveal and for those wanting to know more about the exciting things that i'm legally not allowed to say yet that are international head over to our facebook soulfully guided at soulfully guided carmel Ann. so look for soulfully guided on facebook anyway we'll see you next week